Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a free clipboard manager that you could use to manage the items that you've uh, copied to your clipboard. It's called CopyQ. So there's two versions that you could download. There's one that's uh, an installer where you can install it like a program. Then there's the standalone where you just run it as needed, which is what I have here. So once you download the file, just run the executable. You might get a message from Windows saying we don't know who the publisher is and then do you want to continue? So you could say yes if you agree. So we'll just open it like this. And you can see we don't have anything popping up, but if you look down here in your system tray, you'll have the little icon. So click on that. So we got our blank clipboard right now. But as we copy stuff, we'll start filling it up. So let's say we go to this Word document here. Let's copy this text, Control C. Go back here, you can see it keeps it with the formatting. And let's maybe copy this image here. And we got that as well. So it always puts the latest thing you copied at the top, but you could uh, move it around with these arrows, or you could click this guy here. Let's activate items. It'll put it on the top. You could delete items. Uh, you could edit it if you want to do that. It'll open up in a new tab with an editor. Or if you click on this guy here, that's edit with editor, which in my case is Notepad. I believe you could change which app is your default editor if you want. Then you could add tags. You could pin it to the top. That sort of thing. All right, so let's copy some more stuff here. Let's try uh, this paragraph that has a link in it. And let's also copy this URL here. Now if we go back, you can see we have that. So if we do this one, we can either do Control C, paste it in there. You can see it kept the formatting. Or we could do uh, this guy here. We'll just do Make Active. That automatically copies it to the clipboard. So let's do something here. Let's go back to this. Let's change the font here to something a little crazy. So Algerian font, copy that. And you can see it has it in there with the actual font. There is a setting if you want to just do uh, everything as plain text. You'll have to, I'm not sure exactly where that was. I saw it earlier, so you'll have to find it if that's what you want to do. So as you can see, it does a pretty good job of just keeping track of whatever you copy there. And then all you got to do is just pick the one you want. Just do Control c or activate it to copy it. Then you have some options here, some preferences. And for wrapping text, for the layout, the history, the tray. So number of trays, number of items in the tray menu. Disable the tray if you want. There's some notifications, tabs. If you uncheck this box, when you exit out, it'll clear the clipboard. Otherwise, let's just do that right now. And go back into it. Now we still have our stuff there. So if you don't want your items remembered, uh, you could uncheck that box, or you could just do a Control A, Control -A and Delete before you exit, that type of thing. So what else we got? items, some shortcuts. So I made a shortcut to show the main menu so I don't have to go down the taskbar or the system tray there. So I did Alt-M. So now if I just close this out and I do Alt-M on my keyboard, that'll bring up the clipboard like that. Then you have some edit options for searching, pasting, tagging is important, adding tags, removing. Uh, you could have new tabs if you want to. So let's call this so that way if you want to have like an editor here and you could toggle back and forth, then you could just right click on it and remove it if you don't need it. And these are some of the same menu items that you have on the icons on the right here and so on. There's a lot of command line stuff you could do from here as well uh, if you want to check that out. So this is just kind of the basic overview to show you how it works. So if you find yourself wanting to reuse items that you've you know, copied in the past, Rather than having to go back and recopy them again, you could just go here, you know, copy and paste it back into your document and take it from there. So I will put a link in the description where you could download this and you could check it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.